Well, when the governor uses his uh, platform to tell Floridians that they don't have to get vaccinated in order to uh, go to a large concert or go on a cruise or return to a movie theater, he's giving them an excuse. There's a lot of people here from out of state. Right now, there's a lot of talk about whether or not to require people get the vaccine if they're traveling. Well, on Friday, Governor DeSantis signed an executive order saying the vaccines would not be required to come to Florida. The new executive order, effective immediately, forbids local governments and businesses from requiring proof of a coronavirus vaccine. The governor spoke about the order earlier this week. It's completely unacceptable for either the government or the private sector to impose upon you uh, the requirement that you show proof of vaccine to just simply be able to participate in normal society. But State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith disagrees with the governor. He says all the order will do is make Floridians more hesitant to get the vaccine. Well, when the governor uses his uh, platform to tell Floridians that they don't have to get vaccinated in order to uh, go to a large concert or go on a cruise or return to a movie theater, he's giving them an excuse. Spring break is in full swing, and that has brought thousands of people to Central Florida. We asked some of them what they thought about the issue. If I'm traveling out of state or out of country, I think that I, I have an obligation to prove that I'm, I'm not carrying the disease. Um, I don't ever think you should force people to do things in order to be able to travel. I would want to travel on my, my time whenever I felt like traveling, not because i got to get a vaccine to travel. Now, it's still unclear what will happen with vaccine passports at the national level. If other states do decide that they want to require them, that could impact Floridians looking to travel out of the state. In Orange County, I'm Kelsey Thorne, WESH 2 News.